Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm taking a look at Stellaris by Paradox Interactive. Full disclosure, Paradox did send me a key for this game, and thank you guys very much for doing that. Uh, this is an awesome game. I've had a lot of enjoyment playing it so far. Uh, Paradox Interactive, if you're uh, not familiar with them, they've also made the incredible city skyline. When I heard they did a sort of civilization style uh, 4X strategy game, I just had to check this game out. Uh, thank you guys for sending me a key. That was really awesome of you guys. If you want, you can visit Paradox's uh, official website and see their full catalog of games. Really, everything they have is just awesome. Uh, so yeah, Solaris is a is kind of like uh, Sid Meier's Civilization V. You know, it's got that same sort of uh, strategy style, but it's a bit it's in space for one, and it is a bit more complicated in my opinion, just because it's something that's a little different than what I'm personally uh, used to playing and uh, really caught me by surprise how uh, in-depth this game was and just how enjoyable it's been for me. So yeah, you do have a uh, multiplayer here. There aren't a lot of, uh, you know, uh, players in my experience, at least uh, just public players looking to play with random people. Uh, you know, you do have some players in here, but in my, uh, but it seems like there's a lot of password servers. So I think a lot of people, this, uh, when people play this game multiplayer, it's with friends. That's usually how people tend to play, uh, Sid Meier's, uh, Civilization Online, too, was they did it. They just invited friends instead of playing in an open public server. I uh, see, so anyway, you can go ahead and click on, uh, New Game here. And, uh, right from the start, the game, uh, right from the very first screen, I could tell there was going to be a lot going on in this game. Because from the very first screen... Uh, you choose your own empire and each empire has its own starting planet own st starting uh, solar system uh, weapons it start with the type of travel it starts with the ships uh, and it also has different types of um, ability traits over here you know each one has their own traits and their civilians have their own uh, traits as well so right off the bat there's a lot of of uh, going on here and you can actually create your own empire and or you can click on one of these and edit it and create your own empire from that uh, this is actually my custom empire here but I'm gonna go ahead and go to create new just so I can show you guys the depth and the very first you know like screen uh, yeah so right off the bat you choose appearance where you know you can choose different uh, portrait types you know if you want them to be uh, mammalian I hope that's how you say that reptilian avian anthropoid or anthropod uh, and all kinds of other uh, races there and you get to choose your own portrait and then uh, of course from there you, you uh, the name of your species the plural of your species and the objective uh, and then you choose you know name lists so right off the bat you just have so many miscellaneous uh, customization options like you could change your ship names that's uh, re that's insane um, or at least you can choose what ship names uh, you want uh, that's just crazy that they actually give you that option. Uh, then you can go to traits and this is where you of course uh, select, select the genetic traits for your species and then you have ruler where you can choose you know the sex of your ruler doesn't seem to change this guy much. Uh, you get to change between color variants, hairstyles, clothes type, all that stuff. Uh, and then you go to the uh, home, your home world where you change between different types of uh, home world and of course the, the species you pick actually depicts what home world you're allowed to start in because certain races can't start in uh, like hot environments for instance so you do have to pick one they like see here you have tropical preference you do have to sort of pick one that uh, fits your species and then you have you know your starting uh, home world name and your star name and what starting solar system so you just have you can change your city uh, preferences here and then under uh, government ethics you can change between different types of ethnicity points like for instance you can do material a materialist which will give you uh, benefits here and then you have these which are sort of the fanatic um, ethics these give you uh, big bonuses but they also give you big negatives uh, and of course whatever ones you pick between here whichever uh, traits you pick between here also affects what uh, ethics you get over here as well so you see here if you have um, certain traits over here selected some of these light up to give you additional uh, things going on so it's just a lot to do and then you change your empire name uh, you can customize your flag which is a neat little uh, thing you can do uh, and then you can change your starting weapons your FTL method you know warp travel hyperspace or wormhole and even your ship appearance so yeah that is the 
a custom empire system. There is a lot of dev for this, that small thing. Uh, and it took me about, you know, 15 minutes just to set up mine. And I was just clicking uh, the uh, some of the default stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start here. And then of course you choose the galaxy size. Um, and then galaxy shape. And then you can choose the AI emperors, which of course is how many other uh, AI opponents you play against. And then you choose advanced AI starts, which is sort of uh, how much how much the regular AI is ahead of you te technology wise. Uh, then you have uh, difficulty. Uh, there's no easy. There's only normal, hard, and insane. <laughs> and then you can choose what type of uh, loud FTL, a faster than light travel method is. Uh, and then you have Iron Man mode. With Iron Man mode, uh, console cheats are disabled, and the game is automatically saved regularly to a single file. So essentially. You, when you play in this mode, once the game saves, there's no going back. You can't just make your own like saves and then revert to a, a, a previous save if you make a mistake. Your whatever uh, choices you make, you have to live with. That's a very interesting mode, and I could see that being very appealing to hardcore uh, strategy players. You can bring up a console with um, the tilde key, which is nice. I didn't know this game had a console until uh, Iron Man told me that it's disabled. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. And uh, here we are with the actual Greetings, uh, game. I am there. Let's I'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing down because <laughs> I've already played this game before. So yeah, this is uh, Stellaris, and as you can see, the game is quite pretty. Uh, you know, it's definitely a definitely a beautiful game if you're into sort of like this type of uh, space stuff. So you have Jupiter over there, and you have all the planets over there. So this is where you uh, sort of start off. There's a lot of things to talk about here, so uh, bear with me. Um, so it's just essentially, yeah, you can pause the game with space, unpause it, and you can change the uh, game speed up here if you want it to be uh, faster or slower. And then you have different uh, tabs up here, which you can look at things like your uh, your empire, and then you can go to your contacts. You know, you can see other uh, uh, empires here. And then you go to ship design, or you can actually design your own ships, like select uh, what type of weapons to put, what type of FTL drives, and you name the design and, and stuff like that. Uh, and you can come in situation log. Whenever uh, an event happens, the situation log sort of updates so that you can re uh, reread it, like a tutorial message, or if there's like a special event that happened and you want to sort of uh, check it again, you can uh, do that. You also have, if you click victory here, it gives you a list of ways you can win the, uh, the uh, game. And in our technology, this is where you research stuff. If you've ever played Civilization, uh, then you understand the research tab. It's just, you know, you have uh, researchers, and you have three different types, physics, society, and engineering, and each of these uh, scientists can be told to research a variety of things. And this just, you know, unlocks new technologies and stuff like that. I actually think I'm gonna change this. Actually, no, I think, I think quantum theory is fine. So yeah, I guess the, and you have a menu up here, a little hot bar down here, which brings up things like you can put in uh, Earth, your home world here. And you can, you have your, it tells you your governor, you can actually change your governor, you can uh, highlight edicts, which change uh, certain things within your town. There's a little, like, uh, see here, uh, sort of uh, changes how your civilization operates a little bit. Of course, can has negative and positive traits. Then you have your surface area here of the home world Earth. See, when you uh, go to different planet, you find different planets that are inhabitable and you start to inhabit them. Uh, you can go ahead and open them and go to the surface tab and actually tell uh, civilians to do things like construct power plants, uh, you know, mining stations and stuff like that, which will give you resources and feed your people and just all kinds of miscellaneous uh, things like that. Um, and of course you have these uh, areas right here, which are actually sort of blocked tiles, and to actually be able to put people there, you have to clear them out, which of course costs resources and time. And then you have armies here where you can uh, assign, you know, armies to defend your planet, as well as armies, uh, attack armies for attacking other planets, uh, stuff like that. And then you have spaceport here. This is where you go build here, and you build your type of ship, like if you want to build another construction ship, science ship, or a uh, attack ship. When you first start the game, it gives you a, you know, it gives you a um, construction science and you know attack ships here military ships and then of course you have down here if you want you can actually do detailed map mode so that when you go into the uh, star map 
you know, it gives you more uh, information. Of course, you have search here if you want to search for known star systems. You know, if, like, you just type it in, click on it, and it'll take you uh, straight to that solar system, which is actually pretty interesting. So yeah, there is definitely a lot going on with this game. Um, and we haven't even actually started playing the game. This is just me explaining some of the basic uh, things you'll be doing in this game. So the objective of this game is sort of to, uh, you have your science ships here, and the first thing you're going to want to do is actually tell your science ship uh, survey, click here, and then click on a planet. Oh, okay. Still not used to this interface. Tell them to click on a planet, and they'll actually survey the entire solar system. And what that'll do is they'll check each planet and see if they have valuable resources that are worth mining. Um, Sometimes they can find a planet inhabitable and then you can send a construction ship over there and, uh, you know, uh, mine it for resources and just stuff like that. Um, and you can also find anomalies uh, with your science ship, which will, you know, sort of advance that. You can investigate further to get uh, all kinds of crazy uh, discoveries and stuff. And sometimes you even find, like, primitive life forms and you can use a construction ship to plant down or, like, surveying a uh, thing and actually watch them evolve and learn from that. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, depth into this game. As you can see here, it's just, my ship is just, uh, my science ship is just going around. Uh, surveying the planets, and what, you can click on it and see this, see this is completely inhabitable. No resources, so it's just not even worth, uh, you know, exam or really doing anything with. You see here, the uh, star, this star here actually has some uh, physics research, so I can actually tell a... Anomaly found. Oh, see, my scientist actually found an anomaly here. Uh, we found something Mercury that didn't match, so we can actually tell her to research that, and she'll go back and go ahead and research it. And of course, um, you can actually hire more scientists, uh, so that we can have multiple ships out and just uh, stuff like that, assign them different uh, tasks and whatnot. See, anyway, there is some resources we can gather from here, so I'm going to go ahead, go to my construction ship, and tell them to build a research station so that way we can actually research uh, this solar system and get some research points. So yeah, she's just, uh, you do have a little progress thing uh, right here which tells you, you know, the progress of uh, the action they are doing. Same for her over here. Yeah, so that, those are worth doing, you know, once you just uh, do some of the uh, Anomalies, you can unlock diff all different types of technology and knowledge, which will help your civilization evolve. So yeah, there's definitely a lot going on. And this game is huge. Like if I press E or Q here, or excuse me, E, it opens up the uh, star map, and you can just see by me zooming out, this is a medium-sized map. And as you can see, there are just tons and tons of solar systems. Each solar system uh, being varying degrees. And I'm not actually my uh, scientist right there just leveled up. So yeah, you know, later in the game, you can actually you can actually go to different solar systems and claim them as yours, and you know, put up inhabitants there if you find a planet that's inhabitable, and you know, it's just it's crazy uh, how just big this is. This is on again, this is on a on like a medium size. Uh, so my uh, construction ship just got done building the research station there. So we're gonna go ahead and build a mining station on Mercury so we can get its juicy natural resources. So yeah, it's just uh, incredible, and you, you click on the stars, and you also get uh, different information about them. So they they put a lot of work into this game, uh, just on the descriptions of the planets and stuff alone. So yeah, this just this game is so in depth and so amazing, and there is like combat in the game. There are other species around this map, you know, much like Civilization. Uh, you just go around and then you bump into them, and when you find them, you can actually uh, like go to their home planet click on them and do negotiations, you know, trade resources and various other things of that nature. You know, trade resources, set up embassies, uh, just stuff like that. And uh, it's really cool. This is a sort of really chillax, just calm, uh, fun strategy game to play. Uh, it's definitely a, a very fun game for fans of uh, strategy games such as um, Civilization. Let me go ahead and tell him to build a, a mining station. I'm actually going to tell him to build it. I'm actually going to tell him to build it 
the planet right here. I'm going to tell him about the Mount Europias because I do like the minerals. That is a common resource I find myself using. And then, yeah, that is the, the basic start of the game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on fastest so we can hurry up and get all this over with. You know, this is the basic start of the game. You're just, you know, uh, surveying all the solar systems around you. And, of course, uh, you click on these here and they take you to different solar systems. System survey complete. Okay, so now that my um, scientist here, we go here, is done surveying this uh, area, this uh, solar system, I'm actually going to tell her to go to Sirius right here. And I'm actually going to tell her to survey this, all these. So there's definitely a lot going on here. And uh, of course, you have like. Oh. Oh, yeah, I need to build more uh, power plants. So I'm going to go back to my home world here on Earth. Go to surface. And I think I'm going to build a power plant. Uh, or should I build that? I'm not entirely sure. So I think I'll just put it. Uh, right here. Let's build a basic power plant. And I'll start construction. You see that little bar here? That's actually uh, the uh, buildings being constructed. And of course, uh, with the surface construction, uh, where you put certain uh, buildings actually affects adjacent tiles. Like, for instance, this uh, tile being, this uh, building being right here, actually affects all of these. Uh, and you can help them grow and can affect their uh, resource output and stuff like that. So even something as simple as building a building, there's some thought that has to go into that, right? Uh, so yeah, very, uh, very cool thing. Definitely a very uh, fascinating game. There's just uh, so much stuff is going on. And over time, uh, depending on your, you know, uh, <coughs> your uh, empire's <laughs> politics. Oh, whoa. Count in a form of alien vessels in a serious system. Okay, that's actually that's actually really interesting. It seems like there's another species that has been discovered. I should be careful about that. So after a certain amount of time, uh, you know, if you find a different species uh, after surveying them for a little bit, you can actually um, speak with them and learn to speak their language. Because at first, you know, they're an alien life form, so you can't really uh, communicate with them. Okay, construction's complete. Oh, it's just a lot going on right now. <laughs> um, where is... Have you built that mining station yet? Okay, you have. So let's go ahead and build it. Build another one right here. Castello. Serious. Yeah, so that's Situation one of the... Situation log updated. So yeah, you see here, finding that uh, special projects put something in my situation logs. So if I open my situation logs, uh, it gives me information on it. Um, okay. So I can't research it yet because my uh, scientist has to be at least skill level, which well, should be able to do that. We do here uh, research special project. Click on it. There we go, there she goes. So yeah, the game uh, starting out is very slow um, and very uh, methodical, which you know is like every 4X strategy game like this. Uh, and it's just a lot of fun um, just seeing everything being developed and just doing all this. It's a very uh, enjoyable experience, in my opinion. And of course, you know, the game starts to get tense when you find like other races and you know, things start to go south and they wanna start blowing you up or Research something. Complete. Uh, the research. There's always uh, new special interesting project complete. discoveries like you see here, this special project. It's a lot of dialogue to read. Um, just a lot of interesting stuff to read about the game sort of lore. Oh wait, whose ship? Oh, I repaired the ship. Nice, that's mine now. Nice. I don't have any admirals. This does seem to be a uh, or a ship, so we're gonna actually recruit a new uh, admiral here to man it. Of course, you have different traits here. Get you. Okay, and click on you, and then there you go. You now own. Now you. It's your ship now, buddy. Okay. Survey. Continue surveying. Did you already survey all these? 
There we go. You can see here in different uh, parts of the solar system actually change uh, your ships as well. Like you see here, it gives a 30% less, 30% uh, travel speed penalty to ships in interstellar flight. So a lot of, a lot of interesting uh, things going on with this game. Very uh, fascinating uh, game. So anyway, that is uh, Stellaris. I'm sort of unfortunate that I wasn't able to demonstrate the combat. Uh, but it's pretty pretty much works how you would uh, guess, you know, you take your um, warships, you know, such as Actually, let's go to this planet right here Tell her to survey this entire area So yeah, but it pretty much works how you would think, you know, you take your um, Warship and you tell them, you know, attack target and you can click on the target and have them uh, attack them and they just sort of, uh, you know, if your ship, if your uh, warship's good enough, it'll kill them. <laughs> if not, you'll get destroyed. Seems to be some hold up here. Ship seems to be out. Of oh, I paused it. That's why. <laughs> that makes sense. And what's cool thing is from the uh, Starman, you can actually click on your ship here and just actually control them from here. Like I just tell them to go here, which is pretty cool. And then you know, unpause and I'll do that. That's pretty interesting. I don't even have to click on the map, and I can sort of do a lot from just the uh, sort of basic overworld. I'm actually losing money here because I'm not really paying attention to the uh, economy of the game. Uh oh, oh no, I'm going broke. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's whatever. Fine. I'm just sort of trying to show you guys as much uh, content as I can. Definitely a lot of uh, a lot of things going on though. Hmm. Yeah. So that is something. So I should really put a um, put that anomaly. I should really construct an observation thing there. Have that examined. Anomaly found. So yeah, you know, that is uh, Stellaris. It's a pretty uh, fun 4X strategy games. Uh, strategy game. It's definitely a great game. If you enjoy, like, Civil Sid Meier Civilization or other sort of space, uh, grand strategy space games, uh, this is definitely a game to pick up. Uh, it's very slow uh, in a good way, and there's definitely this huge buildup, much like with Civilization, where you start off really small, and then it just gets to the point to where, you know, the whole map is occupied. Uh, you know, big chunks of the maps are occupied by different nations and it becomes just this uh, race to see who can uh, win first and it's just a very fun and enjoyable game. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this has been Keith playing Stellaris by Paradox Interactive. Uh, if you want to get Stellaris, I recommend purchasing it from Paradox's uh, official uh, store from their website. Uh, so that way uh, all the money goes to them and you can really show your support for this awesome Linux port. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Keith, signing out.